Welcome to pre-math. Can you calculate the surface area of this given shape? By the way, this shape is called octagonal prism. And one more thing, octagon means eight-sided shape. You may pause this video if you wish to solve this problem on your own. Anyway, I am going to explain it right now. So let's go ahead and examine this shape. I can just probe this one and put it a little bit more visual way, nice way over here. The total surface area is going to be this first octagon represents the bottom part of this shape. The second one, this octagon, represents the top part. That means the lid. And plus how many sides we got? We got eight rectangular faces. You can see, you can count them. There are eight of them. I just put it down over here. So this is the simple representation of this given shape. And one more thing over here. You look at this one. This octagon has eight similar triangles, same kind of triangles. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of individual, each triangle of this octagon. And we know the area of the triangle is a half time base time height. We have been given the base and the height. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A half times 29 times 30. Five. Let's simplify this one over here. If you multiply and divide, that is going to give you 507.5. So that means each of this uh, triangle has an area of 507. 0.5. Since there are 8 of them, I'm going to go ahead and multiply 8 times 507.5 and that is going to give us 4060. Isn't it that? You can see that one. So the total area of this octagon turns out to be 4, 40, 60. Since this one, look at this one, the second octagon is exactly same. So this is going to have the area as 40, 60 as well. And now next we are going to focus on these eight rectangular faces. You can see this one. We are going to find the area of each rectangle. So you know that the area of rectangle is always equal to length time width. In our case, our length is 29 and width is 24. So let's go ahead and multiply this one out. Use that formula. So I am going to put down 29 times 24 to get the area of individual. So if you multiply this one, that is going to give you 696. You have to be very careful with these calculations. So the individual these one has area 696 since we have a eight of them so i want you to just simply eight times 696 and that is going to give you if you multiply it out 55 68 so this is the total area of these eight rectangular faces so our final step is just simply add up these three, these numbers. So the area of the first, this rectangle is, we know that 
40, 60 plus the area of this one is 40, 60 as well and plus this one is 55, 68. If you add them up, that is going to give you 13,688. So thus the total surface area of our this given shape turns out to be 13,688 square feet. That is our answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.